morning it's the 6th of october and it's such a nice day i'm hiking in a t-shirt which is nice i wanted to give you a little bit of an update uh since we haven't posted on this channel for a little while we're gonna do a few little local hiking things uh and vlog them for you but had a bit of a setback uh so middle of august a routine eye test i found out that i had a detached retina Um, didn't really know much about it at the time, didn't really know why I had it, but was just told that I would need to go for surgery, which was a bit of a shock. A month later, 23rd of September, I was flown out to Southampton and had a gas bubble put in my eye, which was not very nice. I knew it was going to be horrible, but it was really horrible. So I've been stuck at home recovering. And today is almost two weeks since I had the surgery. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. It's really um, still quite red, uh, but tons better than what it was. So uh, I thought today, feeling up to it, I'd come out for a nice little hike on the cliffs. And since the weather's so nice, I thought I'd make the most of having a bit of downtime and just get out in the sunshine which is really nice with my two little walking companions but yeah uh, so hoping to do a few more local hikes this side of Christmas which we'll get on the channel have a look around where we live which is a very nice place in the sun So a little bit more on my detached retina situation. There were various uh, options and ways to treat the retina. One being a gas bubble, which is inserted into the eye and supports the retina to be pushed back by the bubble back to where it should be. Or there was a buckle, which sounded pretty horrendous, which is much more invasive. Uh, luckily, I was able to go with the gas bubble situation which although is i'm told is only a minor of surgery i'm not gonna lie uh i was pretty scared when i was told i had to do it in fact i was terrified the thought of a needle coming towards my eye when i'm awake because you don't get put under general anesthetic it's all done with local anesthetic uh terrified me but i had to have it done there's no choice if i hadn't have had it done the retina would have detached even more and it was very close to the part of the eye that you see out of and so if it detached any more um, I would likely or most definitely have um, lost the sight in my eye uh, so it was a situation that I didn't really have a choice with I had to have it done and yeah I had to hope for the best the surgery itself was quite clinical really you sort of sat in a waiting area I was told when it was your appointment I was first so they literally take you into a room, put a cath uh, cannula, catheter, no, cannula in your wrist. They give you um, a little bit of sedation, put local anaesthetic in the eye, which I don't actually really remember. I think I just remember it hurting. Um, and then cover your face. So it's just your eye showing and then poke needles in there. Um, so I was told that it was going to feel like uh, pressure, like when you're at the dentist, you kind of feel something going on, but you can't really feel any pain. Uh, for me, <laughs> I don't know if I'm just a real wuss, but um, I definitely felt pain. I did tell the surgeon that it was hurting because I was really worried I was going to kind of flinch and blind myself even more. Um, but he assured me that, no, no, it was fine and um, finished the procedure. 
Once I was done in the theatre, they sit you up, shove you in a wheelchair and sit you back on the seat in the waiting area. Uh, I was told if I felt sick or had any pain in my head that I had to tell them immediately because the pressure in my eye, because the gas bubble has been put in, could be too high, which in itself is also really dangerous. So I sat back down in the chair. I was told I had to keep my head forward to push the gas bubble sort of to the back of the eye. And I had the worst pain in my head and started to feel really, really sick. I kind of thought it was me just being a wuss or that it was supposed to be like that. And perhaps this wasn't what they were referring to when they were telling me about the um, pain and sickness. I got to a stage where I couldn't feel my hands. My hands went numb and I had to ask to lie down, making like a massive uh, drama in the waiting area, which was slightly embarrassing. Anyway, it turns out that the pressures in my eye were really high and they gave me Diamox, which is the same medication uh, people take when they climb Kilimanjaro to help with altitude sickness. So that was strange. My blood pressure due to the pain dropped uh, so they couldn't actually measure my blood pressure because it had dropped so low. But thankfully after sort of 30 minutes or so I was feeling much better and um, was able to go and sit in back in the waiting room. Anyway so they signed me off, discharged me. And I then had to go and stay in a hotel. Because you have a gas bubble in your eye, you're not allowed to fly. So I had to come back by boat. But before I could come back, I had to be signed off by the surgeon who wasn't back in until the Tuesday. My surgery was the Friday. I was told that throughout this time, I had to stay in the hotel, I had to lie on my right hand side. So the gas bubble pushed up the retina um, and hopefully sort of fix it back to where it should be. Uh, the hotel situation was really miserable. I had no one to get food for me. I wasn't feeling up to going down to get food from the restaurant. So I ended up not having anything. The hotel wouldn't do room service till 5 p.m. Which meant that I literally had uh, barely any food for the four nights, four nights that I was there. Anyway, Tuesday I went back to the eye unit and had my eyes scanned again and met with the surgeon who told me that the retina was back in place. I just had to keep lying on my right hand side to um, ensure that the bubble was in the right place to support the retina. Um, I was so, so happy. I literally could have cried. It was such a stressful time. So as I say, I nearly at two weeks since surgery. I've still got the gas bubble in my eye. Uh, which does make depth uh, perception quite difficult, although it's much, much smaller. I had the gas that disperses uh, within two to three weeks because we were also going on a family trip in two weeks time to America, which I will probably vlog. Uh, so you guys can keep up to date with what we're doing. So I just need to go and check, get checked out in a couple of weeks to make sure the bubble's gone. If the bubble's not gone, I can't fly. As I said, the surgeon said it should go within two to three weeks, which gives me a week to play with. Hopefully it's all gone and I can fly. Careful, Lou. Such a nice day today. I'm one nutwood.
my favourite views. It's just beautiful. St. Harbour down there. So for anyone having watched our uh, West Highland Way videos, you will know that Craig had to stop because of his knee. So he needs to have some PRP, I think they're called, injections, because the pain that he was experiencing was a bit of arthritis and obviously because he hadn't ever hiked that far. Um, conse on consecutive days, his knees just went up to it. So they've recommended some PRP injections, which should hopefully help reduce the inflammation and actually sort of stop any further arthritic progress in his knee and he'll then be able to hike. So what I've been doing whilst I've been off is doing a little bit of research into our next hike which will be in the UK next September. Uh, I can share more information on that at some point but um, for now we're in the planning process. Um, super exciting, it'll be our second through hike, uh, longer than the West Highland Way. Uh, so watch this space on that. If anyone has any questions about the whole detached retina situation, feel free to comment below um, and I'll try my hardest to answer your questions. Um, I don't think I said how they think it was caused. Usually a detached retina is from an impact, so bungee jumping, uh, a car crash they asked if I'd been in any car crashes. Nothing really has happened like that. However, after the surgeon uh, kind of assessed mine, he thinks that it's something that's been coming on for the last 18 months, which in my mind makes it worse because for me to get my head around the situation, if I had bungee jumped, I could say, that's why I have a detached retina. I obviously didn't do anything, as I mentioned. So the fact that it's detached is quite worrying. Although I have been told that now it's fixed, or as soon as I get the sign off to say it's fixed, I won't be at any more of a risk of it detaching again, uh, any more than you or I. I think as you get older, the risk becomes uh, higher, but let's just hope that we never have to go through that again. So you can get a good view of my eye. It's the right hand, well, left, my left eye. The right hand side is obviously where they did the, um, and put the gas bubble in. Uh, so it's been really, really red. It's not quite so red now. It was completely black. Every day it's getting a little bit, bit better. I didn't mention the medication. Uh, so I had to take Dymox for three days and then I had four lots of drops. One of which I had to use for a week and the other three for 14 days. It's in my last day, it's Friday. Um, it's feeling much better. Super happy to be out and about. Can't wait for some more hikes. Come on, let's go this way. Come on, little one. Whilst I've been off at home resting, I have been catching up on some of the PCT hikers that are nearing the end of their hike and also been doing some research for the hike that we, Craig and I, might be doing next year. I feel very inspired by these people. I feel excited by the challenge. I feel excited about being off grid for maybe six months eventually. We're hoping to do the PCT I probably mentioned before, in a couple of years time, maybe three, two, I'd really like to do it next year, but financially that's not possible. And so, yeah, I've had a lot of time, downtime, to think about what I want in life. And being outdoors, hiking, walking, is definitely something that I want to do more of. I just find it very therapeutic. I love being away from the hustle and bustle of people. <laughs> I think a lot of hikers are a little bit the same. They kind of don't really like being in the, the busy parts of the world. But weirdly, we like to vlog it all and put it on YouTube for you to watch. This is one of my favourite little hikes, uh, just local to home. It's 
like a 30 minute, probably three mile hike. It's perfect whilst I'm recovering. It's perfect for Millie, the brown and white spaniel, because she is getting old and can't go too far nowadays. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. This is one of my favorite trails. I'm following your path, leaving some paw prints. Right, let's hook you up. Just road walking back. Come on, wiggly tail. Does not stop. As I mentioned, we are nearing the end of our walk. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe to our channel and have a great day.